Okay, so for today I decided to use the Oracle of the Seven Energies by Colette Baron Reed for the day. I, it is for Tuesday, September 6, 2022. Of course. <laughs> The moon's still in Capricorn, and it is really close to Pluto this morning. 6 a.m. Pacific time. The moon's at 21 degrees Capricorn, and Pluto's at 26 degrees Capricorn. So this could be a very big day. It could be a day of, you know, like holding on to your hat and being very careful with your words because um, we're moving towards uh, Mercury retrograde. Divine Matrix. Ooh, look at that. That's gorgeous. This one here. Opening to Discovery. Oh, that's wonderful. These cards are quite large. I, I'm going to have to move them over a little. What else? What else do we need to know for this day? This one right here. Great Big Love. <laughs> Wow, we're having some major great cards this week. Uh, so, okay, the message is right here. The Divine Matrix is all about great big love. <laughs> I mean, that's just all you have to do is look at the cards. You don't even need me. But you can see, if you just go with the artwork and you look at the um, keyhole, you see the keyhole here? And how there's a whole new dimension inside that key. And these cards go so beautifully together. There's the keys right here. We have the stars. But there's a whole other universe in here. And the Divine Matrix, even though it's like sitting on top of a head, and, and the image looks like you need to open your head to, you know, let it in. Well, yeah, we do have to let go of our... Mm, maybe our beliefs sometimes about the way things are, but the divine matrix is alive and well inside of you. Not only inside of you, but inside of the nucleus of every cell in your body. So open to that. You don't have to go outside for it, but it is beautiful to see it outside, <laughs> outside yourself, but you can also just go look in a mirror and look in your eyes. Look in your eyeballs. There's a whole universe in there. <laughs> And in your in your body. So if we can open up to the, all the love in the universe, because the love is always there, the challenge is just to open up to it. When we're you know moving about our day and things aren't going right, and we're thinking, oh no, maybe just stop and open your love, open your heart to yourself, and open to loving yourself through it whatever it is you're going through. Like, how can you love yourself through it? How can you be the best parent that possible to yourself as you get through these challenging times? And look for the help. You know, always look for the help that's around. Always open up to more and more help. So, I absolutely love these cards. Now, with the Moon conjunct Pluto and Capricorn... Maybe that's what, uh, maybe these cards for, for us have everything to do with that deep level of heart transformation because Pluto's all about transformation and the moon's about the heart and connecting the dots brings in the divine matrix and the moon conjunct Pluto trining Uranus opens up the divine matrix here. And that's what we have today. We, we literally have the, the moon and Pluto trining Uranus in the north node. So, earthly Capricorn, moon, Pluto, in a flow to the north node, and Uranus in earthly Taurus, and then trining over to the sun in Virgo, earthly Virgo, and Venus in Virgo. I mean, there, that's a lot going on. It's mo mostly the sun, uh, because the, the sun's at 13 degrees and Uranus is at 18, North Node's at 15. But the Venus is, Venus is she's, you know, she's sitting there like imbuing everything with her love. So there's that. And it's all earthly love. 
But we have to open up to receiving all of that in our earthly bodies. It's a choice in every moment. You have to exercise your free will to open up to the love in the universe. And you have to do it all the time. I mean, if you're like me, it's like you have to remember to do it a million times a day. Right? Like, how, how can I just keep choosing love is always the question. And a negative thought will come in and then I'll go, oh, no, okay, stop. <laughs> stop. Uh, yeah, it's like that. <laughs> Welcome to my life. Uh, but I'm sure you can relate because we're all human. We're all moving through. Uh, sometimes it's just hard to be human is what I what I should say and just end it there. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be hard. Looking at these cards, maybe we just need to keep, maybe I need to keep these cards out and um, keep looking at them. And you guys can, you know, screenshot this, uh, these readings, you can, if you like the images, you can always just uh, take a little screenshot on your phone and, and look at it throughout the day. So, yeah, your phone or your computer or tablet, whatever you're using. And, yeah, or you can come back and listen again, because they're short enough, right? But with all that, I think I'm going to sign off, and um, I'll see you tomorrow, or I'll be with you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, bye.